So let's check out the inside. Okay, so this is starting to come together. Hey everyone, welcome to Lumi. Today I'm actually going to be showing a few happy home builds, specifically some pop culture Gilmore Girls themed builds, but I just came on my island and there are shooting stars and they're so pretty. So I just wanted to grab a few of those. A while ago I decided to build Luke's Diner from Gilmore Girls in Happy Home Paradise. Today I'm going to show that off and also attempt to recreate Lorelai and Rory's living room. Uh, Gilmore Girls is a show that I've loved for a very long time since I was 15. I've pretty much been watching it kind of on repeat. So um, I'm a huge fan, longtime fan. I actually got to go to the premiere of A Year in the Life, which was so amazing and incredible. So we're going to head over to Happy Home Paradise and check out my recreation of Luke Steiner and attempt to do the living room. It's actually really pretty here at night. Uh, I'm usually playing during the day, but I didn't get a chance to record earlier, so we are here in the evening, kind of in the twilight hours. No reference intended. I'm gonna have to pick a couple of these to be my Lorelei and Rory, so hopefully we've got good options here. It's looking a little iffy. I feel like she could maybe be Lorelei or her. And then I think maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Velma could be Rory. I don't know. She doesn't usually wear glasses, but she's got a little bit of a nerdy vibe. Let's check out my Luke's Diner build. Here it is. I picked Fret for this. He's kind of got like a cranky, sporty dog vibe, <laughs> which kind of seemed like it fit Luke. And even if you haven't seen Gilmore Girls or you're not the biggest fan, uh, I hope this will be potentially just some inspiration for a diner or restaurant build. I put a lot of time into this and I uh, updated it again after the 2.0. So this is kind of meant to be the Stars Hollow kind of gazebo area. Uh, this is kind of, you know, some cars parked to go to the diner. It's, it's not a perfect um, recreation just because of the limitations, but uh, here's the famous gazebo. And here is Fret watering these planters. <laughs> I picked the town layout and, you know, just put like a planter. I, you know, tried to make the colors match the building and I put a Luke's diner sign out here. And you can see in the background there's a fountain. I just, you know, love this. I love this town layout for this kind of thing. You can see the water too, which is perfect since they're supposed to be in New England. So let's check out the inside. So I did the diner and Luke's apartment upstairs. And I looked at a lot of different photos and watched a few scenes to try to get the details down. So here is my Luke Steiner. Oh, and he is helping himself to some of his own food. Good for you. <laughs> so I wanted to just do the mismatch tables and chairs. I'll show a picture of what it looks like in the show. Maybe a couple pictures so you can get a feel. It's supposed to be sort of a small town, New England diner. It was amazing to get all of the food updates that really brought this to the next level. We've got fries, pie, sandwiches, soup, fish and chips, pancakes, uh, and of course every mug is customized with the Luke's Diner logo. And he has kind of this eclectic style in there. There's a lot of stuff on the walls. He has these barrels and these kind of, I thought these shelves looked a lot like the shelves that he has there. Some chips and stuff that you can buy. Uh, I couldn't really get exact replicas for the art or anything like that, but I did try to use sort of that eclectic like posters. He talks about having a be happy bass fish, so I wanted to pay tribute to that. Uh, there's my favorite pancake poster. I put a little Brewster photo just, you know, as a nod to other cafe owners, I suppose. And then I tried to do a counter, diner counter, so you can sit here, drink your coffee, have some pie, and there's this back area where you can make the coffee <laughs> if you're working there, and, you know, toaster, blender, all that kind of thing. I just really tried to do some nice little details here, and I put some door patterns to make it look like, you know, you can go back to the kitchen, you can go back to the storeroom, the bathroom. And I also have the famous custom design somebody made, no cell phones. That is from the show. Here's a closer look at the no cell phones sign. 
and this Luke's menu because they have these custom chalkboards and menus on the wall. So that's supposed to be like that. And yeah, just uh, you know, some other little details. You got a cash register. There's the mug close up. Shelves. Ooh, <laughs> this first person is making me really hungry. But looks so good. We got his sign over there. And there is Luke eating more of his own food. This build was so much fun. I really enjoyed watching episodes and looking at photos to try to capture the essence of Luke's diner. And I hope I did, at least as much as I could. Now let's go upstairs because I also recreated his apartment. Luke lives upstairs. He owns the diner and lives upstairs in his dad's old office, at least in the earlier seasons of the show. This was also a little tricky, but I got to use some of the 2.0 items because it's it's kind of like a studio. It's an office that's converted into a studio apartment. So I tried to recreate a little office area. Oh, look, he's going into his safe. Oh, oh wow, he's actually doing the motions to open it. What's gonna happen? Did he open it? Anyway, uh, yeah, so here's his office area, safe, and some keys. I also looked at photos of his apartment. Um, they make comments about his drapes, so I wanted to make sure to have these curtain drapes. His uh, apartment gets renovated at a certain point, so this is based on early season layouts. We've got his kitchen. He has like this round table. Use some of the sloppy furniture. He's not really sloppy. He's actually pretty neat. And I think the, the thought is that, you know, this was his dad's old office, so he probably kept a lot of the original art and posters from it. Got the TV area where he watches sports. And then we've got his bedroom where he's got this single bed. He's a bachelor, at least early on. <laughs> So yeah, I just tried to put some little details. I, oh, this uh, KK Bossa sort of reminded me of Jimmy Buffett, and there's references about him liking Jimmy Buffett. Fish, of course he loves fishing. Just cute little details, but I also like this just as a studio apartment type build. So yeah, here is Luke's apartment, and he's enjoying his TV. Now I want to try to actually build something since I've mostly just been showing off things I've already built but I also want to show maybe my process on how I build things. So let's say goodbye. And we're back at the happy home office. Wow, I can buy a chainsaw. That's a thing to buy. Okay, so I've got my work outfit on. I'm ready to do some business. I'm going to make the Gilmore Girls living room. So who here should be Lorelei? I'm kind of leaning toward Bianca, kind of. Makes me think of Lorelai a little bit, the mom in the show. Maybe Patty? Maybe Patty and Velma. Ooh, we're gonna have to pick a property for this living room challenge. As you can see, I've already designed quite a few houses. I've already completed Happy Home. I want something that kind of looks like a neighborhood. Maybe this. Well, the outside doesn't really matter too much, so... This kind of gives me Stars Hollow vibes a little bit. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, this is so pretty. We can pretend that that's the pond from the show. They have, well, I guess it's, is it a lake? I think it's a lake, but okay. We'll pretend that's the lake. Looks like it's kind of connected to this lake here. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, well, at the very least, what I wanna do is put Lorelai's car out front Let's just put a few trees. Make it look a little more cozy. Okay, got the car. This will be Lorelai's Jeep. And can we get a better color? So on the show, it's kind of like a brown. Although it does have kind of a black top. I guess I'll just make it black. And then let's just make the house look a little more like their house. If you don't know too much about Gilmore Girls, it's basically about a mother and a daughter, I guess kind of coming of age together. Okay, cool, so let's go inside. I'm gonna use pictures of their living room. We'll wanna make this a bit bigger. 
Okay, let's, let's try this and see how the furniture fits in. So we're gonna wanna start with a couch. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty right. Okay, that makes sense. And looks like the wallpaper is pretty plain. Almost kind of already looks right. And they have like an entry table with a phone. And there's a rocking chair that's in the corner. I think I'm gonna speed build for a little bit since this is taking me a little while to find stuff. So watch me build. I wanted to pick the furniture that also goes in here. They have an armchair in the back and a kind of antique table where the phone is. And I also decided to have some food because, I mean, it's Gilmore Girls. They love food. The way I usually decorate is I actually sort of just throw things down as I see them and then mess with them, and I thought maybe I should start doing that to speed things up a little bit. Some of the things I'm including, kind of like at Luke's, are going to be little references. And I'll just see if I can sneak them in, fit them in. And if you notice anything that I don't mention, feel free to leave it in the comments and let me know what you noticed. I do like to take my time and select things that are as close to what's in the show as possible, but I am also doing this a little bit quickly. I don't want to spend a ton, ton of time on this. I'd love to know if any of you have seen the show and if you enjoy it. It's definitely been a long time favorite of mine. They have a lot of tables with lamps on them. <laughs> magazines, books. Their house isn't always the neatest, so... Okay, so this is starting to come together. It's looking at least kind of like their living room. This is going to be Paul Anka. Oh, they love to travel, so let's do a little travel magazines. There we go. Books. Maybe put even more books. Lots of books. So looking through my furniture selections, I decided to actually change out that thing that I'm doing for a closet for more of like these Nordic shelves. I feel like they have something like that. I'm also just gonna add a coffee plant. I uh, should also do a little more art. Yeah, I think we're getting closer to the end here. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, okay, I'm seeing it. We're gonna pretend that there's stairs here. Just do a few little finishing touches. I'm actually like, not mad about this. I think this looks really cute. I think I'm done with my Lorelei and Rory living room build. So just pretend that's steps. Um, yeah, we've got the different tables, got the cozy living room, the fireplace, a little plant, the area where they get phone calls and take, some, take messages, a uh, place they hang clothes, and then this area to eat food and watch TV, which is very necessary to the living room, and we even have a little Paulinka. Let's see what Lorelai thinks of the living room. Okay, she seems to like it. I guess we'll just call it Gilmore Girls. Okay, so just to make this experience complete, I'm going to bring on someone to be Rory. Okay, so I've gotten Velma to agree to be Patty's roommate. She is going to be the Rory to Patty's Lorelai. And they're even saying to lead the way. Where you lead, I will follow. And we are all here. We're all here. Yay. Come on in, you two. So I think the only thing we're going to add inside is Velma's photo. Let's see how Lorelai and Rory like their living room. Patty and Velma, Gilmore Girls. Ah, they're so cute. Oh, I got her jumping into the chair. Hey, 
they left their house. Rory's looking at books. Ooh, of course. The food. Yes. Aw. I love it. Oh, Velma's drinking coffee. Did you see? Rory had coffee. Perfect. Perfection. Rory's playing with Polanka, and they're watching a cooking show. Patty's reading a magazine. Amazing. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. Uh, even if you don't know Gilmore Girls, hopefully this gave you some inspiration for maybe a living room and a diner. Here they are. They're so cute. Laurel and Rory. I love it. If you're enjoying the videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I will be back with more Animal Crossing content soon. Oop, I just made them disappear. See you next time.